So here we go, day two of garage life during the lockdown. Uh, I'm going to show you another tent rig today, another one of my favourites. This is the inline grub feeder rig. So the Vogue very much these days is to use the heli kit and it is, uh, it is a superb rig. It's good for a whole host of situations, but it is not the be all and end all. There are other rigs out there and I'm going to show you why and when I use uh, this particular rig. So the inline grub feeder rig. What I've got is a um, my favourite 12 pound feeder line. Um, love this stuff, it's so strong, cast like a dream. Then I've got that going through some rig tubing, down to my quorum grub feeder. And then rather than yesterday I was using a um, camo buffer bead, today I'm using a camo turbo bead. The difference is these are a quick change bead. So it's not a swivel, it's a little clip, which I'll show you in there. There you go, that's what that looks like. Uh, so strong these, I've had carp to nearly 30 pound when I've been tensioning, so there's no chance of them breaking. Um, they're very similar in a way to our old um, quick change bead, but um, with a metal component. So, then we've got a nice supple hook length of 15 pound smokescreen micro braid, down to my usual size 10 corm specimen hook and uh, a quick stop. So this is a worm rig that uh, I'd quick stop some worms on. What you will notice if you look closely is just there I've got a avid hook bead. Now the advantage of putting one of those on is it just helps stop the worms doubling back up and going over the point of the hook. You're never going to eliminate it completely but I have found that since using one of these little um, hook beads it does make a lot of, a, a big difference, makes um, quite, a, quite a difference and uh, stops them worms doubling up over the hook point. Um, so the reason I'm using a nice supple braid as opposed to mono is when you cast this out what you don't want to do is for this feeder to land a little bit funny, a little bit of an angle and plug perhaps uh, and then what can happen is the mono hook length is going to sit up off the bottom which is going to look really unnatural. Now we're using this supple braid if the feeder does land a little bit odd then I know that um, the supple hook length is just going to drop down and sit nice and flat on the bottom. So what is the advantage of an inline rig? Well, as I said earlier, helicopter rigs uh, are absolutely brilliant, but what you'll find is in really heavy weed, what will happen is you'll, you'll hook your tench or any other fish you're fishing for, and with that feeder hanging down below um, the pull on your direct pull on the fish, the feed is going to be hanging down below the fish and it's going to get caught up in all sorts of stuff so it can get caught up in really bad weed what will happen is that it will lock up and you're you're kind of pulling against two things you're pulling against the feeder trying to get that out the weed and you're pulling against the tent trying to get that out the weed and uh, when you get that situation no good comes from it as you can imagine but this particular rig what you've got is a direct pull going straight down the line through the feeder down to the hook point so it's a great rig for um, getting fish through weed what I do tend to do is uh, you know the nature of the lot of the lakes I'm fishing is they are weedy so I'll spend a little bit of time with a castable weed rake clearing an area on top of a gravel bar or a plateau so that when I cast these grub feeders out they're sitting on a nice flat bottom um, or as flat as I can get it without too much weed uh, that way if the fish does dive off the plateau or the bar straight into some weed at least I've got a good chance of getting it out and using this rig last year in very weedy situations um, I didn't actually lose any fish at all so it is a very very good rig now there's loads of different sorts of tubings out there um, Avid do some lovely tungsten weighted tubings which I do use but I particularly like this um, camo um, this camo tubing that they do, as you can see, it's sort of a, it's a mottled effect on it. It is sinking, but I do just help it a little bit by using a couple of wraps of um, fly tying lead, um, which is just there look, on the end of the tubing. That just makes sure everything's really nicely pinned down on the bottom, well out the way of any feeding fish. So there you go, the inline grub feeder rig. It's one of my favourites, and I've caught a lot of big fish using that.